Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you my morning skincare routine. This is actually a highly requested video by many of you, especially after my video where I talked about my Retin-A use and my special oil that I use on my face, the CBD oils that I've been using, was removed by YouTube because it was inappropriate. Hopefully this will stay up, but I'm going to just try to tell you exactly how I'm using my special face oil. I have two of them. I have talked about the the Flora and Bast. Before I have to give full credit to my lovely, 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 lovely friend, Marlene Fabin Glam Over 50. She's the one that first started talking about this and she's the one that inspired me to give it a try. I'm more of a drugstore lady. You know, I think you guys know that. So I was like looking at the price point of this and I'm like going, holy cow, 77 bucks, not on sale, right? without a 20% off coupon or whatever, but that's how bad I wanted to try it, that I went ahead and I bit the bullet and I ordered it. So I've been using, I think it's been a little over a month that I've been using special oils on my face. <laughs> I like that special oils on my face. And I, the directions on their website on how to layer this for skincare stated that the best way to use this was after you wash your face on dry skin to apply this let it set for a little bit and then apply whatever serums vitamin c your retinol retin a whatever you want to use afterwards that's what their website said and so that's how i started to use it i decided i was going to just do it the way they recommended so to answer your question you guys can make your own decision up, obviously. You can switch it around, but to answer your question the way I do it, I have been washing my face in the morning and I'm loving this Radiant Spin Care. I mean, for 20 some odd dollars, I don't think you can go wrong on this system. This was sent to me. I have been using it. You can tell the, the brush, I, I'm very careful to try to keep it clean and clean it every time I use it. But I really am enjoying this. So in the morning, I do a a light wash, not any kind of heavy duty thing because I don't have any makeup on, I'll have my skincare. So usually I just do something like a CeraVe and lately because this was sent to me by Pixie in a PR package, I've been using their vitamin C cleanser. This is really very nice, I enjoy it. I'm, you know, I'm not a raving fan. I mean, when I'm done this, I don't know that I would run, and at least not yet. Give me a few more weeks and we'll see, but at this point in time, I'm not just sure I would buy that again. I didn't buy it, but I wouldn't run out and buy it once it was empty. But most of the time, I just use my CeraVe. I will then put it on and I'll use the Radiant Spinner. I really like that. I feel like it gets my, my skin really clean, but I do it very lightly because I usually do it a little bit more at night. And I think feel in the morning my skin is pretty clean. Every couple of days I'll do an exfoliation. I normally will get up in the morning and I will use my Studi 35 Alpha Hydroxy Acid. I really like this. And I will put that all over my face. I let it set depending on how early I get up and then I wash it off. It's an exfoliation for me. And then I also still use some gamages uh, occasionally. So my routine, wash, dry, apply my oil. The one that I've been using most of the time on my face is the one that I bought from Flora and Bass. This is the CBD oil. I really like this. There's not a smell for me. I put it on. I only put, I probably put about four or five drops in my hands and it's very emollient. I just put it all over my face. I just pat it in very, very gently. I go down my neck. I go down to my decolletage and I, you know, I just, and I leave it that way. And so in the morning, after I've applied that, then I will go to my vitamin C serum. I usually go, it's in my refrigerator. And I still use, and I, and I think the vitamin C is a holy grail for me. I don't think I'll ever give it up. I really think that the brightening I have had over the course of time, when I look at some of my older pictures, I see such a big difference in the brightening of my skin. And I really think a lot of it has to do with my vitamin C. I did try the Mad Hippie vitamin C. I talked about that. I like it, but it didn't play nice with my foundation. So far, the only vitamin C that I've used, which hasn't been all that many, has been my Timeless uh, tw Vitamin C 20% C plus E and Frolic Acid from Timeless. This is the big refill size. This is the only one so far for me that works really well under makeup. 
I did in that PR package from Pixie, which was the most adorable thing in a jar that said subscription for Monica is really awesome. I did get their vitamin C serum. So I have been using this as well. I don't think for me that this is as nice on my skin as this is. But for the price point, I mean, both of these are pretty reasonable, but for the price point, I think this is really, really nice. It smells great. It just doesn't seem to sit well with my makeup. I have a little bit of a beating up when I use this in my makeup. The trick for this is to make sure if you're going to use it, is to use it, put it on early enough so that it is well absorbed before you do anything. So normally, then after my vitamin C, I put in my Matrixel 3000. I've been using this for a long time. I'm not too sure I'm going to reorder it. I don't know that I really need it. Let's put it that way. I'm going to play around with it using my skincare without it. But then at that point in time, I let it dry. I go back in the bathroom and I am going to choose whatever sunblock I'm going to be putting on. If, if I'm home, if I'm out and about, if I'm going to work, I might use a foundation with a 50 SPF. I might use any other system, but whatever sunblock I'm going to put on, I put on my sunblock. And then I just, I just put my makeup on. I don't need to have to add any oils, any creams, or anything. It's sunblock and foundation. And even my Australian Gold, which is a drier sunblock for me, goes on so super nice with my special face oil on. So I have also been trying a different face oil that was sent to me for review. And this is Maku, M-A-K-U. I think, um, and I'll link Dr. Dre's video on this. I think she had reviewed this a lot uh, for health benefits and stuff like that. Anyways, I've been using this mainly for skincare. This is a 5,000 milligram bottle. It has a lot, a lot in there. So I use this very, very lightly. One drop, I might put it right on my, you know, my real trouble area. I don't use them both together. I oftentimes daytime, nighttime is what I've been doing. I love, 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 love the special face oils. I know they're expensive. They are really expensive, but since I've been using this, I haven't touched any of my other oils. I haven't touched any of my other creams, and I don't want to let it go to waste what I have open. Do you know what I mean? I really don't, so I have to push myself to start using some of it only because I don't want it to go to waste. But I have some stuff that I've never opened, and I think I'm going to do a giveaway for that. But this has taken the place of a lot of different oils. Rosehip seed oil for me, I used to love that. I put this down my neck. Mm -mm, no more rosehip seed oil. I still have some. I have an unopened bottle and it's going to go in a giveaway. And marula oil. Well, marula oil I've been using a little bit more in my hair and I really, really like it in my hair. And talking about hair, I should mention this product even though I sh it would be better if I showed it to you with, you know, when I used it. But this color, this was Color Wow. This was sent to me via the Octoly Network, and this is their dream coat. I'm sure you've heard many content creators talk about this, but this Color Wow is really wow. You have to use this with a hot tool. And then it sort of sets, and it kind of like in the humidity, in the frizzy, and not that I have terribly frizzy hair, but my hair can frizz up, especially in the humidity. This will last days. So I've only used it once so far. I, I like it. I don't have a lot of frizzy hair, but I think it's pretty cool. So again, sent to me via the Octoline Network from Color Wow. I totally appreciate it. The CBD oils, um, that I think ultimately is going to save me a lot of money. I really, really believe that. And so far, I'm like so super happy. I, and I credit it all really to Marlene. I really do. I credit it all to her. So let me just tell you a little bit what's on my face. On my face, because everyone always asks, is my YSL. This was sent to me quite a while ago from YSL um, via the Octoly Network, and I love it. I love it. This is a very, I'm, you know, I'm, I don't like to spend a lot of money on foundations. Although the SD Lot is expensive, but I buy that usually at the cosmetic company store at 50% off. How can you go wrong? But this was sent to me quite a while ago. I did a review on it, and I just have to say, for, for the special occasion, and I never really, never really realized 
the difference in something like this, you know, for a special occasion. This is awesome. This is just a, I don't know, it's just a really beautiful, a beautiful foundation and it's a beautiful finish. I wouldn't wear it every day, but on a special occasion, I certainly, certainly would. And then on that tone, and because I'm wearing the YSL, I'm just going to tell you, I got these two products also from the Octoly Network via YSL, via Octoly Network. One is their, oh, this is really awesome, their, um, their concealer. This is awesome. And you open it up and it's sort of like pump action. And then you can, you pump it and this conceals super, super, super well. It, like I put it on my nose. Oh, I shouldn't be putting it on. But I put it on my nose. It really has concealed any redness that I have. And then the highlighter. Oh my gosh. This high, same pump action, a little bit of a brush. And usually I just go like right about here with my highlighter. Um, whoops. <laughs> I don't want to be. I I like, you know, having a little bit of a brightness to my face, a little bit of highlight, but I I'm not like, you know, maybe I do here. A little bit sort of in the cupid's bow. But I just I think sometimes sometimes, you know, you can go overboard on highlighter. And I think especially if you're a more mature woman when you go overboard on highlighter and, and your nose looks like a white Rudolph's if that's the right way of saying I don't think it I don't think it's all that becoming if you go overboard so I really like this because it's a very gentle application and you can't in my opinion go overboard so YSL these were sent to me as I said in exchange for review I like them a lot and I was so thrilled that they actually accepted me for this now the special oils I truthfully will say this has made a huge difference on my veins, and I know it's not supposed to, but it's made a huge difference on my redness. So I don't know whether it's just fading a little bit of the red, it's making the veins not so red, I don't know. But what a big difference this has made on my veins. And this one, now this one I bought, and the Maku one, M-A-K-U, was sent to me. Again, this is the 5,000 milligrams. So what I've been doing at night is I've been dabbing that more on the veins and more right by my smoker's wrinkles. I did, I did research how to apply this by looking on the website. And Florin Bast had it on their website. And their suggestion was to put the oil on after you wash. And then all your serums on top of it or whatever else you might want. But this would help enhance those serums, how they work, including Retin-A and vitamin A, vitamin C. It would enhance how they work. It would help them go deeper. It would just make them, it would enhance them 100%. So that's how I've been using it. I have noticed a huge, huge, massive improvement, not only in some of my red spots, I think are a lot lighter, but in my, in my peeling, in my flaking. So since I've been using this, I haven't had to touch up during the day with my swirling oil. I, I've done, I haven't had to go in the bathroom and wash the flakes off my face and reapply my makeup. Nothing. So I think this has been really awesome for that. And when I received this, I reached out to the company and I told them, I said, I'd like to know what your recommendation is for using your CBD oil as for skin care. And I explained what I'd been doing and that I had been using the Florid Bast and that, you know, this was the recommenda recommended way. And the, my liaison said, you know what, you, sh you can use it either way that you, f that you like the best. Try it both ways. However, be aware that research as far as how this works for skin care is relatively young. Whereas how this all works for other health benefits is not young. There's a whole lot of research on that. So it's still early in the game for skin care. She said, however, it does, it will enhance and promote and help all those other serums that you're using work better. Most people apply it and then their serums, but it's up to you. It's what works best for you. I totally appreciated her, her response. At the same time, I sent an email to Flora and Bast and I said to them, 
I said, I just want to make sure that I'm interpreting what you said on your website correctly. And I explained what I've been doing. And I said, would you please let me know if this is the recommended appropriate way? I've not heard anything back. And I'm really disappointed in that because I, I love this a lot. But I've not heard anything back from them. So, you know, not that I'm measuring how well a product works from customer service, but I do think customer service is important and I think that an email should be responded to as much as possible so I love this I will continue to use this obviously I will uh, next 20% off I'm stocking up on another bottle of this and this is like a lot stronger and this also has a little bit of a smell where this one I don't notice any kind of a smell so if you're sensitive at all to that and also if you're sensitive to MCT oils you might want to look at the ingredients really carefully because you know MCT oil is something that is in these types of products so you might want to be aware of that MCT oil doesn't bother me I put it in my smoothie you know I, I nah, it doesn't bother me at all but you know for some people yes so that's how that's my that's my very simple morning skincare since I've been using this oil, I really have not used any moisturizer. My foundation goes on beautifully. It lasts beautifully. And, uh, and even this gorgeous foundation, it, it lasts all day. I come home at night, I don't have skin hang. <laughs> I don't have those massive flakes. I really love it. I really do. So I will talk about my evening skincare routine, but you know what? It's, it's pretty well basic. You know, it really is. Um, I probably do more of a cleanse, double or triple cleanse, because I'm going to get more makeup off. But other than that, my skincare with this oil has really been simplified. If I go away, I don't need to pack all sorts of creams and oils. Anyways, so that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you all, let you know how I've been doing using the oil. Oh, and on my head, because a lot of you always ask. On my head right now what I'm wearing is my um, this is my Raquel Welch flirt alert this is sort of a short bob style with curls you know wavy 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 curls if you're not familiar with a Raquel Welch wig I love I will have to admit I do love their lace front I love their lace front this apart for me is on the opposite side of where I would normally want to part my hair but it looks so realistic it really does it looks so realistic and the fibers are just they're just really nice so this is Raquel Welch flirt alert in shaded wheat I believe and um, this was sent to me via wigs.com quite a while ago and I wear it you guys see me in my wigs all the time I just find as a content creator having hair accessories like this is just really nice. It makes it easier to shoot a video, not have to worry about your hair. I'll go out to dinner with Jay. We'll go out, we'll drive around. I'll put a wig on my head if I want, or I'll put my hair up in a bun. It doesn't matter, you know? I mean, having all sorts of different hair accessories, and that's exactly what I consider this to be, a really cool hair accessory. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.